Tonight, a crucial decision handed down in Sacramento, allowing Assemblyman Vince Fong to appear on the ballot in the race to replace resigning Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein was inside the courtroom today and is now live with details from Sacramento. Will, what are you learning? This was quite a day, Michael. We were expecting to hear a decision not long after the 2.30 court appearance was adjourned. It ended up being closer just to air here, about two minutes before air. We received this decision allowing Vince Fong to be on the ballot. How we got to this point was the fact that Vince Fong was already registered to run, already had filed to run for his assembly seat for re-election. He also then wanted to succeed Kevin McCarthy when McCarthy announced his resignation. McCarthy, of course, endorsing Fong, but then the Secretary of State said he could not appear on the the ballot because of an elections code rule that uh, Judge Shelley and Chang had talked about today. And this is what this elections code was. This was what the state, the Secretary of State was arguing, uh, which is that no person may file nomination papers for a party nomination and an independent nomination for the same office or for more than one office. They were trying to apply that to Fong for more than one office. But here's where Judge Shelley and Chang had a little bit of a difference. She said that word independent is essentially what cancels that argument that because Fong is registered as a Republican in both races, it doesn't apply to him. Another uh, case that uh, the Secretary of State's office was trying to argue was a case called uh, DeWitt versus Ryan. And in that case, somebody had registered to uh, run in all the California's congressional uh, districts at one time. This was clearly a very different case where you see a five-day extension filed because the incumbent McCarthy announced he would not resign. Fong then deciding after the filing deadline was already for the assembly seat to then jump into that race. And uh, the, the one thing I think to keep in mind here is that the fact that this could possibly be appealed. We were expecting an appeal from either side. And the reason why this could be appealed stated in Chang's uh, uh, decision here is the fact that it could disenfranchise voters. Essentially, if you're voting for this guy for two different seats, he's only going to serve one of them. That may leave a portion of the voters as underserved. So we can uh, certainly expect to see this appeal uh, in the coming days and possibly weeks. Reporting in Sacramento, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.